In this video, we show how you can create point-and-click executable apps from your MATLAB programs by using the MATLAB compiler. You can share these apps with users who do not need to change the app themselves. This application, for example, does not need MATLAB installed to run it. You can load custom files, get an audio response when you click on this button, and also get a visual output thanks to the MATLAB graphics. But before we can use the app on such a computer, we have to design it on a computer that has MATLAB. We use the guide feature in MATLAB to build this UI, along with some MATLAB programming doing the backhand computation. To be able to share this app such that it runs without the need of a MATLAB installation, you can use the MATLAB compiler add-on product. Open the application compiler that is inside the MATLAB apps gallery. Within this interface, you pick the MATLAB file that you created for programming your MATLAB app. Once you pick the main file, MATLAB compiler automatically recognizes some file dependencies like MATLAB functions being used in the main program and the fig file needed for the user interface. I can add some user-specific data through a MAT file, which is essentially a basic MATLAB file type used to store MATLAB variables in objects. Next, you have options like choosing an icon and a splash screen that shows up when the user of your app is installing it on their machine. More options here allow you to add additional customizations such as version number and author information. Once you are set with all customizations, you have the option to package an automatic installer for the runtime libraries. The app will use these libraries instead of requiring an installation of MATLAB on the target computer. You can either leave this option to the default download from web option in which the app will automatically fetch the right version of runtime libraries from the internet when installing on a computer, or you can add the runtime libraries with the package by choosing this other option. The runtime libraries is a one-time install so the app setup will skip this installation if it finds the right libraries already installed on a computer. We can now package this app to create the shareable file. While the package is being created, let us summarize the sharing process. You start with designing and programming your app using MATLAB. Then you use the MATLAB compiler to create a file that can be shared with your users. The executable file you create will automatically install the runtime libraries that it needs to run with. If you have a program written in MATLAB and want to share it with others who themselves have a copy of MATLAB, just send them your MATLAB files or package the files as a MATLAB app. If your users do not have a copy of MATLAB, you can create a standalone executable app for them using the MATLAB compiler. This is the workflow I'm showing to you today. The MATLAB compiler also lets you build shared libraries for MATLAB algorithms to use in your C or C++ environments. All of this sharing is royalty free to the MathWorks. In addition to standalones and shared libraries, you can also share MATLAB algorithms and functions inside a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet or in a Java or .NET program using one of our builder products. Back to our packaging tool, once we have the packaging complete, the output folder has a for redistribution folder, which contains the single setup file that you would share with your users who do not have MATLAB. On the user's computer, when they open the file you shared with them, the app installer comes up with the splash screen we had picked. Once the installation is complete, the app appears in the programs list and runs like any other program that is installed. In the last five minutes, we saw how you can package your work in MATLAB into a standalone app that anyone in your organization can use royalty-free to the MathWorks.
You can also create library components that allow upscaling of your distribution over the web or within a production system using the MATLAB production server.